When you take zinc for 30 days, your body goes through five distinct stages. Stage one happens in the first 72 hours. Most men don't notice anything. But at the cellular level, zinc is already replenishing depleted stores. Stage two starts around day four to seven. This is when you might notice the first changes. Taste and smell improve. Energy increases slightly. But PSA still hasn't budged. Stage three, days eight to 14. Your immune system starts responding. White blood cell function improves. Inflammation markers begin to shift. PSA might drop slightly, but not much yet. Stage four, days 15 to 21. This is the critical window. Zinc levels in prostate tissue start to normalize. Research shows this is when PSA typically begins responding. Stage five, days 22 to 30. The changes stabilize. PSA continues improving in most men who respond, but you've reached a plateau. More zinc won't speed things up. Understanding these five stages is critical because if you expect PSA to drop in week one, you'll quit too early. If you don't know about stage four, you won't realize that's when the changes typically happen. And if you push past 30 days without understanding stage five, you might be doing more harm than good. Today, I'm walking you through all five stages. What's happening in your body at each stage? What you'll notice, what you won't notice, and when you can expect results. Plus, I'll show you the early warning signs that zinc isn't right for you, because not everyone should take it. If you want the complete day-by-day -day tracking guide, type the word zinc30 in the comments. I'll send you the printable checklist so you can track your own progress. Before we dive in, quick note. This video is for educational purposes only. It's not medical advice and it's not meant to replace your doctor's care or any treatment you're currently following. Everyone's body reacts differently to zinc supplementation. So if you have prostate issues or you're managing high PSA levels, talk with your healthcare provider before starting zinc. Also, this timeline is based on research studies tracking men who took 25 to 30 milligrams of zinc daily. Different doses may have different timelines. And about 30% of men don't respond to zinc at all. So your experience may vary. With that said, let's start with stage one. Stage one, days one to three, the silent loading phase. Research calls this the loading phase. Most men notice absolutely nothing. No PSA change, no symptom relief, no obvious improvements, and that's completely normal. Here's what's actually happening inside your body. Zinc begins being absorbed through your digestive system. It's entering your bloodstream, and it's starting to replenish depleted zinc stores in your tissues. Think of it like filling an empty gas tank. The first few gallons don't make the car drive better. They just bring the tank from empty toward full. Research shows that men with zinc deficiency have stores that take 48 to 72 hours just to begin normalizing. Some men notice one thing during stage one, slight nausea if they take zinc on an empty stomach. That's why research suggests taking zinc with food. If you experience nausea, don't stop immediately. Take it with a meal. The nausea usually disappears by day three or four. What you're looking for in stage one is nothing dramatic, just tolerance. Can you take it without stomach issues? If yes, continue to stage two. If you have severe nausea, even with food, that's an early warning sign you may need a lower dose or a different form of zinc. Talk to your doctor about adjusting the approach. Stage one is about getting zinc into your system. That's it. Don't expect changes in 72 hours. Now let's move to stage two, where things start to change. Stage two, days four to seven, the sensory awakening. This is when about 60% of men notice the first changes, not in PSA, not in prostate symptoms yet, in taste and smell. Research shows that zinc is essential for taste and smell receptors. When you're zinc deficient, those receptors don't work properly. Food tastes bland, coffee tastes flat. Around day five to seven, many men suddenly notice food tastes better. Coffee has flavor again, that morning, orange actually tastes sweet. Dinner is enjoyable. This is your first sign that zinc is being absorbed and your body is responding. Some men also notice a second change during stage two, slightly better energy. 
Not dramatic, not like caffeine, just less afternoon fatigue. Why does this happen before PSA changes? Because taste receptors and energy systems respond to zinc faster than prostate tissue. They're more sensitive to zinc levels. If you notice improved taste or smell by day seven, that's a good sign. It means your body is absorbing the zinc and responding to it. If you notice nothing by day seven, don't worry yet. Some men's bodies take longer, but taste improvement is the first checkpoint. What you're looking for in stage two is food tastes better and slight energy improvement. If yes, you're likely a zinc responder. Continue to stage three. If you notice absolutely nothing by day seven, you might still respond later, but it's a signal to pay close attention in stages three and four. Now we move into week two. This is where patience becomes critical. Stage three, days eight to 14, the immune shift. Week two, this is when things start getting interesting at the cellular level. Research shows this is when your immune system may begin responding to normalized zinc levels. You probably won't feel this happening, but studies tracking immune markers show changes may occur. Research shows white blood cell function may improve. Immune response may become more efficient. Inflammation markers may start to shift. Some men notice they don't catch that cold going around the office, or a minor cut heals faster than usual. But most men notice nothing obvious during stage three. And that's frustrating because you're two weeks in and PSA hasn't budged yet. Here's why PSA hasn't responded yet. Your immune system may respond to zinc in days. Your prostate tissue? Weeks. Prostate cells have very high zinc requirements, higher than almost any other tissue in your body. It takes time for zinc to accumulate in prostate tissue at levels that may affect function. Research suggests it takes 14 to 21 days for prostate zinc levels to normalize in men who were deficient. We're at day 14, you're right on the edge. What you might notice in stage three is you don't get sick when others around you do. Minor wounds heal a bit faster, maybe slightly less fatigue. What you won't notice yet is PSA changes or prostate symptom relief. That comes in stage four. Research shows many men discontinue supplementation during this phase before reaching the critical window. It's been two weeks. Nothing's happening with my prostate. But research shows you're one week away from important changes. Stage three is when patience is most important, as changes may be happening at the cellular level even if you don't feel them yet. Be patient. You're almost there. Stage four. Days 15 to 21 the critical window. Week three, this is the critical window. Research shows this is when PSA typically begins responding in men who are going to respond. Here's what may be happening inside your body. Zinc levels in prostate tissue may have normalized. Research suggests prostate cells may be functioning differently. Inflammation may be decreasing and PSA may start to reflect those changes. Studies tracking men taking zinc show typical PSA response patterns. During week three, research shows some men observe PSA changes. Early in the week, changes of 0.3 to 0.5 in some cases. By week's end, total changes ranging from minimal to about one point in men who respond. Not dramatic yet, but measurable. Some men also notice symptom changes during stage four waking up one less time at night to urinate, slightly stronger urine stream, less urgency during the day. These changes are subtle. You might not notice them unless you're tracking carefully. Research tracking zinc supplementation shows about 70% of men who eventually observe significant PSA changes show early indicators in week three. The other 30% show no response by day 21. And for those men, Zinc probably isn't going to help significantly. This is when you'll want to discuss your progress with your healthcare provider. If you're at day 21 and you've noticed better taste and smell in stage two, slightly less illness in stage three, and even tiny PSA drop or symptom improvement in stage four, you and your doctor may decide to continue to stage five. If you're at day 21 and you've noticed nothing with taste or smell, 
no immune improvements, and zero PSA or symptom changes, you may be in the 30% who don't respond to zinc. Consider discussing alternatives with your healthcare provider. Research shows if there's no response by day 21, there probably won't be a significant response later. What you're looking for in stage four is small PSA changes, 0.5 to 1.0 in some men, one less nighttime bathroom trip, slightly better stream. If you see any of these, discuss continuing to stage five with your doctor. That's where changes may stabilize and continue. If you see none of these, zinc may not be your solution. And that's okay. There are other approaches to explore with your healthcare provider. Now, if you are responding, let's talk about stage five. Stage five, days 22 to 30, stabilization and plateau. Week four, if you made it here and you're seeing results, here's what research shows may happen in the final week. Your PSA may continue improving, but the rate of improvement may slow significantly. Week three, PSA might drop 0.5 to 1.0. Week four, PSA might drop another 0.3 to 0.7. Total by day 30, research shows average 1.0 to 2.0 drop in men who respond. Some men see bigger drops, two to three points. Others see smaller drops, just half a point. But the pattern is consistent. Fastest improvement in week three, slower improvement in week four. You've reached a plateau. This is important to understand. Taking more zinc won't speed things up. Going from 30 milligrams to 50 milligrams won't double your results. Your body may have reached optimal zinc levels for your individual biochemistry. More won't help. It might hurt. This optimal level varies by individual, which is why monitoring with your healthcare provider is important. Research shows that excessive zinc supplementation can interfere with copper absorption cause immune system imbalances, and create new problems. So at day 30, you'll want to discuss next steps with your doctor. Option one, continue 25 to 30 milligrams daily or as your doctor recommends. Research suggests this may maintain zinc levels. PSA improvements may continue slowly over the next two to three months. Option two, take a break. Some research suggests cycling 30 days on, 30 days off. This may help prevent copper depletion. Option three, switch to food-based zinc. Oysters once a week, pumpkin seeds daily, grass-fed beef twice weekly. Maintain levels through diet instead of supplements. What you're looking for at day 30 is total PSA drop of one to two points if you're a responder, consistent symptom improvements, and no side effects like nausea or headaches. If you achieved these, zinc may have worked for you. If you didn't, zinc probably isn't your solution. But there's one more thing to consider. What happens beyond 30 days? Here's what research shows may happen after 30 days if you continue zinc supplementation. Months two and three, PSA may drop another 0.5 to 1.0 total. The improvements may slow significantly, but they may continue. Some studies tracking men for six months found average total PSA drop of 2.0 to 3.0. Best responders dropped 3.0 to 4.5. Non-responders, less than 0.5. But there's a risk with long-term supplementation. Long-term zinc without copper can cause anemia, immune problems, and neurological issues. So if you continue past 30 days, research suggests copper supplementation may be beneficial. Discuss appropriate amounts with your healthcare provider. Get blood work every three months, checking zinc and copper levels with your doctor. Monitor for side effects with your healthcare team. Or consider switching to food-based zinc after the initial 30 days. The 30-day supplement period may jumpstart your levels. Food-based zinc may maintain them long-term. Many researchers suggest this may be a safer long-term approach, though individual needs vary. Now, let's talk about how to actually do this safely. If you want to try this 30-day approach, here's the framework research studies typically used. Week before starting, get baseline PSA test with your doctor. Test zinc and copper levels if possible. Track symptoms including nighttime urination frequency, stream strength, and urgency. Days one through 30, 
take 25 to 30 milligrams zinc daily with food or as recommended by your healthcare provider. Track taste and smell changes, that's your stage two checkpoint. Track immune function, that's stage three. Note any symptom changes, that's stage four. Day 30, retest PSA with your doctor. Retest zinc and copper levels. Compare symptoms to baseline. If PSA dropped one or more points and symptoms improved, discuss with your doctor whether to continue with copper supplementation or switch to food-based zinc. If PSA dropped less than 0.5 and no symptom changes, zinc probably isn't your solution. Discuss alternatives with your healthcare provider. The key is tracking. Without tracking, you won't know if it's working. You need baseline data and 30-day data to compare. Comment Zinc 30 below. I'll send you the complete tracking checklist with all the markers to watch. Remember, the five stages. Stage one, days one to three. Loading phase, expect nothing. Stage two, days four to seven, taste and smell may improve. Stage three, days eight to 14, immune system may respond. Stage four, days 15 to 21, PSA may begin responding in some men. This is the critical window. Stage five, days 22 to 30, changes may stabilize. Research shows about 70% of men who respond show indicators by day 21. 30% don't respond. Track your progress carefully. Be patient through stages one through three. Stage four is when you and your doctor can evaluate whether to continue. If you're responding, discuss continuing through stage five with your healthcare provider. If you're not responding by day 21, discuss alternatives with your doctor. Comment Zinc 30 for the tracking guide. If this helped, click like and share it with someone dealing with high PSA. Subscribe because my next video covers what happens when you take zinc for six months. The long-term data might surprise you. Your prostate health is important. Take a systematic approach, track your results, work with your healthcare provider, and be patient with the process.